we've hit the road. It's 4.30 in the morning, and uh, we're flying solo this week on this week's adventure. So, what's up, guys? All right, well, here we are, solo trip this week. Um, decided to come down and look for another set off that bull, maybe find another year off that deer, and uh, hopefully pick up a bunch more sheds, fingers crossed. Left super early this morning. It's about 10 o'clock now, so we got a few hours. We're gonna go all day today, the rest of the day today, stay the night, all day tomorrow, then back home, and then we're gonna go out this weekend also with Britt and the kids, so. Here we go. It, uh, it's warm. So we'll see, uh, we'll see how many miles I can put on before I'm just done. All right guys, I just spotted the first shed. Of the trip, just right down here. These trees in this little bowl right here. Oh, it's a big shed. Nice shed. Older shed. Actually, it might be my bowl. I have another one right there too. Right there. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <coughs> Hang on up there. I'm get a smaller shed off my bull right there. Hold another year. And then right here, looks like a shed. Yeah, that's a base. And goofy. Oh yeah, super goofy. Look at that thing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That'll go in the keeper pile. <laughs> that thing is wild. Finally. I actually been kind of scratching my head a little bit. I've been in some pretty awesome country. The same country I found that my bowl in, but uh, just haven't been turning anything up. Seen some human sign. It's crazy because one finger over that we were on when we were glassing, when I glassed that set up, not a single sign of a person. I mean, no boot tracks, no garbage, nothing. And then I come over on the finger that I actually glassed the that, that set up on and there's people sign yellow ribbon um, uh, some beanie weenie cans and uh, some uh, soda cans and a water bottle and I just I haven't found anything yet um, until now right there thank you thank you thank you down here in this thick thick stuff just uh, Probably missed it. I think it is right here in this little draw. This is the draw on top of this finger, just a little cut. But uh, I know why they didn't see him that set, just because it's off in the hole. I mean, there's, unless you were on our finger or walking up the bottom of that, I don't think you would have seen those at all. So I'm gonna walk around right in this little hole, see if I can't turn another one or two up here. Just dropping off this super steep face right here. I got a shed glassed up across this big canyon. I don't know why in the hell I'm going to get it, but I am. And uh, just come across another shed. This bowl here is like a mountain goat. It actually looks like it might be my bowl. Just an older year, right there. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Man, he lives in some steep country. I'm gonna figure out how I'm gonna get down this and then across and up. Fun, fun. This is just dumb. I know I'm not the only one that messes with this stuff. I don't know how you guys do it, this oak brush and stuff. I'm gonna show you what I'm doing with my pack. Here's my pack. I'm literally picking it up. Tossing it forward <laughs> a little bit at a time. This is steep and stupid thick to 
try to walk through this with a pack on. Just ain't happening. Without a pack, it's tough. So, I think I've got through, no, I got a little bit of, a little bit to go, but I'm almost to the bottom. Then there's a cattle trail on the bottom. I'm gonna fall around the hill and go up the other side. Go grab that shed I glassed up and cross it again and go back up the other side to the other three sheds I glassed up and I'll just hit the same finger and go all the way to the top back to camp. It's about five o'clock right now, so. <sighs> fun, fun. All for antler. All right, so I went down that steep nasty crap left my pack and come up this side i glassed up well i thought i glassed up a shed over here i'm pretty sure it was a shed finally climbed up this had to find a rock chute to pretty much scale up and i'm just kind of milling around looking for it right now and in the process found another shed right there that little stubby thing though at least it made it worth coming up here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, I found what I glossed up. And I actually thought it was a big, one big shed, but it actually turned out, turns out to be a, uh, a set laying on top of each other. Drop that little thing I just picked up. Check that out. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. This old bus rush is died and falling on it. Cool, cool. All right, now we're gonna grab these three, climb back down this, get the pack and go up the other side to the other three I got glassed up and then up to camp. Man, that was nice. A little oasis right there. Feels pretty good, nice and cold too. Dip my head in, cool off for a minute before I start this grueling hike out of the bottom of this hole. I've got about five sheds on to start, and by the time I get to the top, at least eight, but honestly, hopefully, a couple more to the matches of uh, what I pick up if none of them are matches. So, fun, fun. It's about uh, 5 30 6 o'clock somewhere in there I haven't even looked to be honest with you I just looking at the Sun we probably got about two hours of light left so it's gonna take every bit of that to get up to the top towards camp so let's go yeah baby just come up out of the bottom of that I'm like we we still got to go up I mean we're nowhere near where we need to be, but we're out of the steepest, steepest part, right out of the canyon wall right there. And we got some brown cheddar. Yeah, love it. Oh, that's a good brown too. Oh yeah, heck yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Get in some more of them bad boys. I'll be a happy, happy man. Just keep looking. Just running this ridge right here. Taking it all the way to the top. And once I get to the top, I'll shoot over a couple fingers and hopefully grab what I glassed up. But I just saw some antler. And I was running up that. Where'd it go? You got bones? Ah, there it is. Oh, it's a dead head. And a little bull. Died from the rut, I'll bet. Whole side of his face is missing. Goofy little thing too. Cool. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bird the find. I'm not packing that thing out of here though. I got enough sheds. So, here it will stay. 
packing out. And we got a healthy horn here. Hard white. Last year's. Nice. Good horn too. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, we made it back to camp and got it all set up. <clears throat> got our boots changed, our socks changed. Kind of got set up to relax now and uh, got our safeguard cooking, some dinner. And uh, got our bed set up. It's gonna be an early bedtime tonight. 7.52 right now. I only got about three hours of sleep last night. Three and a half actually. And then uh, drove all morning and then hiked all day. And packed elk sheds. So. Just gonna relax here for a minute. Listen to some music. Eat some dinner. And uh, crawl in bed. Call it a night. Wake up early. You can go start pounding the hills. Hopefully fill a couple packs early. Thinking uh, thinking I'm going to go as far out as I can right off the bat in the morning and then work all the way back. Um, that's the plan at least. We'll see how, how that goes. So. Good morning. Hi right, guys. So got up, got camp packed up. Bed roll, everything's put away. Got dressed, got ready to go. And it's time to take off. I'm gonna go, like I said last night, I think today I'm gonna go as far as I can out. And um, just see what I can, how far I can get by a certain time and then kind of work back, zigzagging all the way back. I just, there's only so far I can go out, but I wanna see if I can make it. And then uh, kind of see what I find on the way back and then I've got some stuff. I still got those antlers that I glassed up yesterday that I never made it to last night um, that I'd like to pretty much work back around and come up that area right there that they're on. So that's the plan. And now it's just time to get moving and go. So boots are laced up and we're ready. See you in a bit. These Mojave BX3s, Pro Guide HDs, 12 by 50s they're they're unreal i am i am absolutely in love with these things i don't uh and don't think i would have ever bought or ordered something like this just because it's not 15 by 56 but i'm blown away i i just i cannot get over how awesome these things are the clarity on these things is unreal one thing with my 15s and I, i'll do it every now and then with this but one thing with my 15s I've, I've usually got to do if I don't pack my tripod is steady up my frame pack so I can rest them on it. Just so I can get a better look, a little better, a little clearer, less shaky look at stuff. But in country like this, it's kind of a mixed bag. I got really, really long looks sometimes and then other times I got just cross canyon short looks. And with the 15s, that work great on the really, really long looks, but these short looks like this, it's, it's kind of hard to uh, to make sure you're hitting everything and, and glassing everything accurately because there's just, the field of view is just so much, so much smaller and tighter in those as opposed to something like this. But on the long looks where I thought maybe I would be a little, little behind with, Man, these things, the clarity on these things is so awesome and so unreal, it, it doesn't even affect them. The long looks are awesome. I mean, I love them. I, I honestly love them. I, I hope you guys give these a chance. If you're looking for a great quality, uh, high-end, low-price set of binos, guys, don't overlook these Mojave BX3s Pro Guides, especially in these 12x50s. They are unreal, absolutely unreal, I swear to you. Guys, I won't ever, I know I've told you this a hundred times and I honestly mean it because it means a lot to me that you guys know that I will never support, push, or use something if I don't believe in it. And, and I honestly, honestly mean that. I will never, ever do that. So 
Guys, check them out. I mean, you will not be disappointed. If you think you need something way bigger, way more than this, you're wrong. You're absolutely wrong. I could honestly get by a whole year with running just these and not miss my 15s at all. At all. I, I seriously mean that. That being said, though, I am pretty stoked to get the new loophole 15s because I'm a big glass guy. But if I didn't know any different and didn't do stuff and, and wasn't doing what I do, I would never, I'd never know the difference. So check them out. It's about 1230, about 30 minutes before I really wanted to stop. I've been uh, going just nonstop. I've stopped maybe two times the glass. Yeah, two times the glass. And uh, I just stopped right here to glass and I looked at my GPS and I'm exactly 9.1 miles from camp. So like I said, I'm 30 minutes before I was thinking, but uh, I decided I want to uh, stop here. I'm gonna loop out and start looping back and zigzagging all the way back to camp. But as I was sitting here glassing, I actually glassed up the first shed of the day and it looks like a brownie. So hell yeah, let's go get it. I gotta cross this canyon. We got a little canyon right here. I'm coming down a finger, but let's go cross this canyon and get over to it. All right, I see it. We're there now. Still don't see the other side though. Dang it. There it is right there. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I just saw that through that gap of trees. Nice brownie. Ooh, heavy brownie. That thing's got some weight. Keep it on the ground too long. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I just working back here. Just come up on a set. Broke. Right there, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm a bad little set. Oh, I'm a long ways. Oh, he all broke up. All right, we're shooting up this finger here. And we got a shed. Got a big shed too. Real front on it. Older. Cactus shed. Big old fatty fronts on that thing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hold this up. We're still gonna try to work. Still a long ways out, but we're still gonna try to work towards that step I glassed up yesterday. Um, might have to go up high. We might have to go up high and drop our load. That way we can come down and zigzag some of the steeper stuff a little better, a little faster, but at least get everything up high. That way we don't have to come back down and haul stuff up and down. So, okay, so I walked about 10 feet and I think I matched this thing up here. It looks like him. Oh yeah, that looks like a match. Right there. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Big old chalk donkey. Big old fronts on the thing. Just peters out on the top. Fronts are huge, seconds are huge, thirds are huge. Swords are average and then nothing. All right, we just got over to uh, one of the sheds I glossed up yesterday finally. Actually, uh, not a bad shed. That dead tree's falling on top of it. But I seen that front end right there from across the canyon. Get this thing out from under it and then go see if we can get the other ones. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, we're back. Stupid phone, camera, phone died and uh, these iPhones take forever to turn back on when you hook them up to a charger. So I picked up a couple. I didn't get to record, but we're back up and running and we got a brownie. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
that actually might be the match to the one I found yesterday. Just not broke. It's a good brownie, too. Heck yeah. We're about to call quits. We're actually working, working back up the draw here to uh, towards camp. So who knows? Maybe maybe we can find one or two more on the way. I'm actually gonna. This is a good enough horn. I'm gonna drop my pack right here for a second and kind of loop through the stick stuff. So. <laughs>